here with my nigga. Y'all know him by what they know you as? Rick Gonzalez. Okay, but you go by when you in that booth when you were on the stage. What's your name? Realm Reality. Okay, how you get the name Realm Reality? I got it from a friend of mine who did a lot of weed. Uh -huh. <laughs> and he made up Realm Reality. That's the craziest name you could ever think of, but I only kept it because he actually gave it to me. And I was humbled that he gave me a name. My mom never gave me a middle name. She didn't give me a middle name. And my homies in the neighborhood never even gave me a, a nickname. So the fact that he gave it to me from hearing me write, I was humbled. So you're trying to smash the, 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 the stigma of actors can't rap and rappers can't act. I don't think I'm trying to smash that stigma. I think that's for people to feel a certain way about that. I'm just trying to make the best music possible that lasts a long time because I really do care about making good music. And um, is it ever, are you in a situation where you might not get a movie part because of the things you rap about? Um, that's a great question, doggy. Uh, I don't know, you know what I'm saying? I don't know if, if certain people might be turned off in Hollywood about me doing music or my affiliations with people in music. Uh -huh. I don't think they would, you know what I'm saying? But um, if they did, then that wasn't meant to be. So apartment 143. Yo. I told you, I, yo, I watched that shit on Netflix. I'm like, yo, you like, yo, you saw that? I'm like, yeah, I yeah, saw it on crazy. Netflix. Yeah. Crazy movie. How do you go about doing an indie movie? You know, the same way as I go about doing a big... Film. So that was your movie, right? You did the movie or with partners and stuff like that? I, it wasn't my film. Okay, I, I okay. auditioned for the part. I auditioned in Los Angeles, and um, I got the part. And then we went to Barcelona to shoot the movie. Yeah, yeah. And... Um, it was the best time of my life, man. I was in Barcelona for two months, um, shooting a horror film, getting to know a, another foreign country, and um, you know, I had a good time. I, you know, the the producer and the directors of that film did a movie called Buried um, mm -hmm. by uh, Ryan Reynolds. Okay. And the whole movie takes place in him in a cardboard and a, and a pine box. I already know what you're talking you know about. What I'm yeah, saying? yeah, yeah. So like the dudes who was it called that, Buried? You sure? It's called Buried. Uh -huh. It's called Buried. Yep. And I know what you're talking about. Yeah, he was in. He was trying to get his cell phone on type of shit. Exactly. I he, he was on, yeah. All he had was a cell phone. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And yeah. so, uh, you know, the vision that these dudes had, like, you know, I really respected them. So I was humbled to work with them. The shit was actually scary too. Good luck, yeah. No, nah, it wasn't. It, it bugged me to fuck out. <laughs> Lucky, you know, yeah. it was. Yeah, it was nah, definitely a good one. Apartment 143. I mean, yeah. Make sure y'all get one. Apartment 143. Check it out yeah, on check Netflix. It on Netflix. You know what I mean? So, yeah. so realm reality. The um the artist. Where you trying to go with it? What you trying to do? What's your overall plans? You know, get it, get it worldwide. You know what I mean. I would love to tour the world. You know what I mean. So that's the plan right now. It's just to take it to that next level. You know what I mean. To make Prodigy proud. You know what I mean. To take the infamous name to another level, and um, you know, to start a new chapter under his wing. And um, God willing, we could do that. So I'm pretty sure you was approached by many other artists to get down with them, to fuck with them. Why did you choose Prodigy over different people? Well, I felt like me and P had a rapport already, you know, you know, just as a friends and shit like that. Like, we understood each other, and you know, I, there's not one person that's more humble and genuine as him. You know what I'm saying? Like, he's one of the good dudes in this game that keeps it 100 all the time. And I was humble that he even felt like, you know, I have a situation I think you fit perfect in. So uh, it made it, it made a lot of sense to me. So the next thing is that. Where we see you doing like disc records and shit, somebody should you know say something about Prodigy. You are going to go in the booth and you doing disc records That's and shit funny. like. Uh, you know I don't know about that. That's corny. <laughs> you know what I mean? Nah. Yeah. He yeah. can handle himself. Yeah, because you know they got like a, a check and pass. With, you know, even though a lot of things has been deaded, but yeah. you know people do jump out the window. Like, they what do. if somebody diss you or say something like that? I would, I would laugh and really be humble. I mean, it depends on who dissing me. Okay. Know, if somebody a legend dissed me, I'd probably like it. I'd yeah. be like, yo, son, son dissing yeah, me. Yeah, you know yeah. what I mean? It'd be like, all right, cool. I'm really in this motherfucker. Yeah, you know what and you're really from Brooklyn. I'm really in this motherfucker. If a yeah. nigga try to throw shots at me, then he's like, he feels threatened. Yeah, yeah. You know what yeah, I'm yeah, saying? Yeah. That's how that lets me. You know, I'm like, okay, he's scared. And let him know you're from Brooklyn, man. Yeah, yeah, Bushwick all day. Bushwick, like, Brooklyn. You know what I mean? Like, it's just, I do it for them. You yeah, know what I mean? Yeah. And like, they let me know every day that they're proud. You know what I mean? So I know I'm doing the right thing. So they probably look and they probably say, give us five movies you did that they might know. Okay, yeah. Uh, Illegal Tender. Okay. I'm sure everyone in the hood seen that. Uh, Coach Carter, uh, Old School, Biker Boys, and War of the Worlds with Tom Cruise. Wow. 
Yeah. That, that's big. That's big. So give on your Twitter. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Official Rick G. And okay. my Instagram is Realm Reality. Okay. So how, how do you go determine who you're going to turn on and turn off? When are you Realm and when are you Rick G? <laughs> I mean, I'm, I'm both people. I'm just saying, like, in terms of music, I'm, I get to really be myself. Okay. You know so, yeah, yeah. I get to really be me. Like, obviously, I'm not the nigga from Coach Carter. Obviously, I'm not the <laughs> yeah, nigga from, from Biker Apartment Boy. 143 yeah. or Biker Boys. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I'm playing a character. But with music, I get to be who I want to be and be myself. You so, know right mean? now, if a big film company says to you, I don't want you to rap for three years... I'm gonna give you four million dollars, but you can't rap. What would you do? I'm not rapping for four years. <laughs> yeah, I'm taking that money. I'm taking yeah. moms out the hood, nigga. Yeah, yeah, that's what it is. 